Mary, you are to be the mother to a savior and king. This is the story that turned BC to AD. Everything changed with the birth of Jesus. It's a story that's been important for thousands of years. It needs to be told and retold. Jesus is still alive, and this is where it all began. What an amazing opportunity to be the first musical offering of a story this significant. The Nativity story is sort of a musical at the heart of it. These angels show up, and it's they're, they're singing to shepherds. How hasn't this been done before? It's gone through iterations, it's been through close calls, it's been through, oh, this is not gonna happen, oh, it is gonna happen. And finally, here we are in 2023, making it happen. The music is incredible. Like, that was the first thing that made me be like, oh, I need to be a part of this. Um, when I heard it for the first time, I felt like a little kid. Yeah, it's, it's a beautiful balance between real human yeah. problems and just Performance and, exactly. yeah, like, and theater yeah, and color surprise and, and just everything. It's perfect. It's, uh, yeah, you just pinch yourself. Walk around, it's a dream come true, this whole thing. The character that I play is fun, scary, and it's cruel, and it's tough. A king doesn't need to be loved, only obeyed and feared. What he portrayed and what he embodied when he was playing her is exactly what was in my head. He embraced the movie, the story, the way we're telling it. He's a man that in a way kind of smell the change in the air. Something's gonna happen that is gonna affect the world in which he thinks everybody should live. Something is happening, somebody is coming that is gonna change that. They shall call him Emmanuel, God with us. I personally hope that people can take away the joy of the story. The joy and the hope that is revealed to Mary and ultimately to the world. In the very beginning, Adam wanted to tell a story about the fact that God has bigger plans for us than even we have for ourselves. I hope that at the end of the fun and the music that they are reminded of that truth. We're so used to this story being told in a very simple way, but when you really think about the cultural context of the time, it just makes no sense that God would enter the world through a newborn baby, let alone have that baby be born in a barn. Looking down upon this brand new Now time for the close-up. I think we all remember when we were little, going to the movies and just being like so in it, you know, and, and so drawn to something that feels much bigger than life. People will experience the journey of Mary, this young girl who has the weight of the world on her shoulders. Just a unique vantage point and perspective that really does stay faithful to God's story but at the same time, adds so much color. It's a musical, we're having fun. People didn't break into song and dance back in zero BC, but we're going to. Fortunately, we have some comedic relief. Mm. Now let's go. We're telling an important story with eternal value, but we're having a lot of fun doing it with this music and dance that I think kind of pierces through defenses. Uh, in hearing the story and opens hearts and minds up to to hear it fully. It's going to surprise people. People are just going to laugh. He's going to have a great time. He's going to get emotional. You you got to rage. You know, we have the Mary and Joseph storyline. We have the Magi storyline, the King Herod and Antipater storyline. It's funny. It has heart. It's just breathing. It's moving. It's absolutely everything. Celebrate.